Hi, Larry Stewart here with FourConstructionPros.com. Welcome to Anaheim, California, the rental show, uh, ARA. Meet Nick White. He's product specialist for JCB and their excavator lines, their compact excavator lines. We're talking about an electric excavator. We are, Larry. That's right. Is this JCB's first electric excavator? It is the very first excavator that's been made an electric. Okay, and we're expecting to see it. Uh, there's, there is a diesel version. You, yeah. I, interesting that you said made electric. But there, there's a diesel version of this. This, mo this machine is actually part of the uh, diesel machine program, mm -hmm. so it is actually um, based on the on the same DNA as the as the diesel machine. Okay, all right, and and so we've just replaced the power with an electric uh, electric power. Cast. That's a very simple way of describing it. Yes, right, you've right. taken out the ice mm -hmm. in, in the internal combustion engine and put in a set of batteries. And, uh, and a motor to drive the whole unit. Okay, how does the, the performance uh, compare between the electric and the diesel? One of the things that JCB was very strong on making sure that happened was that the machine would be identical to its uh, diesel brother. Okay. So you'll see that the performance is, is absolutely without any compromise. It'll, it'll dig to eight, 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 foot, eight foot five. It's got the same digging force uh, about 4,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. So in effect, it is exactly the same as any, any other 19C okay. diesel right. machine that we have. All right, right. So this this is a 1.9 1.9 ton, machine. ton, yes. Yep. Yep. So nearly 6,000 pounds. Right, yep, okay. In, uh, in US. And and how, uh, what kind of electrical system is uh, is this machine running? How is that, how is that dr the powertrain uh, um, configured? The powertrain has three batteries inside it. Okay. And it drives an electric motor. Uh, it's a 40, 48 volt system, mm -hmm. uh, and it's very, very similar to any any car actually, mm -hmm. any electric car that, that goes out. Yeah. A machine of this standard would be expected to work for about eight to ten hours. Mm -hmm. The battery life will more than more than survive that okay. that program. Okay. At, at what sort of level of, of per output t intensity? Um, a modern machine would be working at um, probably about. Full, on full power for sort of one to two hours a day, okay. um, idling for maybe another 15 to 20 percent of that time, okay. and the rest of it would be made up of digging and, um, and workload. Okay. So it would uh, more than survive. Okay, all right. And um, what, uh, what part of battery technology has changed that has brought JCB to the point where they're ready to commercialize a, an electric machine? I, th I think the uh, the modern battery is now much more stable, much more robust, and it's able to hold its charge for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. So these are lithium ion batteries, mm -hmm. um, again, which are used in most automotive uh, electric, electric machines and hybrid yeah. machines. So it is very, very com competent at, uh, at, at managing that power that's required. I see. Okay. Are there other factors that, that made JC pull JCB into this decision to, to go with electric? Yes, there are. I mean, it's looking at the uh, the zero emissions, which is a key a key driver for this. Yeah. Uh, around the world now, we're looking at uh, how we reduce emissions, both from uh, diesel and and com internal combustion engines, and also noise as well as a as, as a factor. And so, all these things put together give us an opportunity to put a machine out there, which is clean and efficient mm -hmm. and um, and green charging time is uh, is between eight and twelve hours. It uh, it charges through a standard 110 charging charging system. Mm -hmm. uh, you plug it into the mains. Uh, that's converted down to a, a 16 amp ramp in plug, mm -hmm. which is on the on the side of the machine. Charging systems inside the machine, so you haven't got to worry about a standalone charging unit. Mm -hmm. We will be offering in the future a fast charging system. As I said earlier, this, this charge takes between 8 and 12 hours, depending on how much battery life you've, you've expended. Yeah. Uh, the fast charge will bring that charge time down to about two, two hours. They've got a lifespan of 3,000 charge cycles. Okay. So that means probably some in the region of 10 years worth of, of cycle time mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. for, that, for, that, for this particular machine. Yeah. Uh, we've also got security, use the word security on the machine to ensure that if the operator is running it continuously for a long period of time, he'll know when the uh, when the charge is going to expire. Okay. So he gets a warning at ten hour, uh, at ten percent, and then a warning at five percent when he should be putting the machine back on charge. Mm -hmm.